Spark plugs are one of the most important parts of an engine that contribute to its performance. They provide a spark that ignites the air and fuel mixture in combustion chambers, which then provides power to turn the engine's pistons. As such, it is not surprising for them to go bad fast when they are neglected or used incorrectly. What causes spark plugs to go bad? In this video, we'll discuss some quick fixes for fast-failing spark plugs as how this affects your car's performance. What are spark plugs? Spark plugs are devices that deliver a spark to the combustion chambers of an engine. They come in different forms and shapes, but their purpose is always the same, creating ignition for internal combustion engines. Spark plugs are located within or at the tip of each cylinder, which then ignites fuel with compressed air from the intake manifold and exhaust gases from the previous combustion. This process creates energy through heat derived from burning gases. Can a bad spark plug cause damage? Every owner of a gasoline-powered car knows the routine. Every so often, usually around 30,000 miles or so, you have to replace the spark plugs. If your mechanic tries to tell you that they have laser technology for removing and replacing spark plugs in modern cars, insist on having regular plugs reinstalled. Otherwise, you may run the risk of breaking a plug off in your cylinder head, an expensive problem, especially if your warranty is about to expire. The reason modern cars can go so long between tune-ups has nothing to do with spark plugs. It's all about fuel injection and engine management computers that now control the fuel-slash-air mixture more precisely than ever before. What causes spark plugs to go bad fast? If your car keeps losing power and you have recently replaced the battery, then it could be that the spark plugs are going bad fast. There are different reasons why this can happen. If you own an automatic transmission vehicle, they will most likely suffer from acceleration problems, which really slow them down. However, for vehicles with manual transmissions, low revs normally lead to spark plug failure. Another instance where a spark plug might go bad fast is if there is a problem with fuel pressure or compression in the cylinders of your car. Faulty temperature sensors might also speed up the process by interfering with ignition timing and engine RPMs, revolutions per minute. When do I need to replace my spark plugs? If your engine is difficult to start due to fouled or old spark plugs, if it misfires under load, if you find some white powder on them, or if they are worn out because the gap grows too large, then you need to replace them with new ones. Bad fuel causes spark plug failure fast. Leaks in any of the fuel lines, dirty fuel injectors, or carbon buildup in the engine will lead to faulty spark plugs. If your vehicle is burning too much of its gas, there could be problems with the fuel system. Replacing the spark plugs alone won't solve this problem, so you need to do a little bit more detective work to find out exactly what's going on. If your car is running rough and making strange noises when you take it for repairs, and only check for pre-ignition and run a compression test just in case. Pregnition occurs when gasoline ignites early in the cylinders during combustion and forces an abnormal amount of pressure in that cylinder. This causes serious damage to your pistons if not caught in time. Pregnition will also force your spark plugs to fail fast. Pregnition can be caused by carbon buildup, a lean fuel mixture, and faulty ignition coils. These are just some of the reasons why spark plugs might go bad fast in cars that use gasoline as their primary type of fuel. You should replace the spark plugs in your car every 30,000 miles or once a year. However, if you follow the guidelines above and only switch them when needed, you might get away with changing them at 60,000 mile intervals. During your next service appointment, you can always ask your mechanic how often they recommend changing your vehicle's spark plugs and remember, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Replacing your spark plugs before they wear out is one of the best ways to keep your car running smoothly and prevent costly repairs down the line. If you do this, you will save money and help protect the environment by reducing emissions from your vehicle. Spark plug damage due to neglect and poor usage. There are certain circumstances wherein spark plugs suffer wear, tear, or get damaged. That is why it's important for you to know the warning signs that show when your vehicle needs a replacement. A good rule of thumb is to check if it has more than 30,000 miles traveled on its odometer. If not, then there might be something wrong with your car's performance, even though some cars do have a longer life cycle. When this happens, one common symptom would be rough idling, which may also result in stalling out of the blue. Another sign will be difficulty starting up the engine, especially during cold mornings due to lack of fuel getting into the combustion chamber. To summarize, here are some of the most common causes of spark plugs going bad. Vehicles that have more than 30,000 miles traveled on their odometer. Neglecting to replace spark plugs when needed. Using the wrong type or grade of spark plug for your engine. Not using the recommended fuel octane level. Running engine under severe conditions, for example, overloading, driving in high temperatures. Quick fixes for spark plug damage and neglect. There are quick fixes you can do if you're experiencing any of the aforementioned problems with your car's performance. The first step is to identify what's causing the issue and then take corrective action based on that. 
For example, if there are no signs of ignition in the combustion chamber, but it still has spark plugs installed inside its cylinder head, then you can remove and replace those that have worn out. Spark plug replacement is an easy task that any DIY enthusiast can do at home with a few basic tools, a ratchet set for removing old ones, and new spark plugs for insulation. Also, make sure to always follow the manufacturer's specifications when installing them so they will fit properly. Once you've done this process or even before doing anything else, check your engine's fuel octane level by checking your owner's manual or asking someone who knows about cars well enough to help you figure things out. The reason for this is that there are certain engines, especially those with turbochargers or superchargers, that require a higher octane level in order to operate efficiently. If your engine requires premium fuel, you can use the standard one as an alternative. However, do not completely neglect proper maintenance by using lower octane fuels and what's recommended. Otherwise, it will affect efficiency and performance since they tend to lose power when forced to inhale low-quality patrol. Another quick fix includes resetting your car's computer system so it will recognize spark plugs being replaced. Simply drive at least 50 miles after installing new ones before turning back home again. This should also help eliminate rough idling and stalling out problems during cold mornings, at least for a little while. In some cases, spark plugs go bad because of severe driving conditions. If this is the cause, then you might need to install new ones more often than what's recommended. The key here is to prevent any further damage from happening and keep your car in good running condition at all times. By being proactive about it, you'll save time and money down the road. To summarize what we talked about in this video, there are several things you can do to prevent your spark plugs from going bad, such as following the proper maintenance procedures and using the right type of fuel. If they do eventually go bad, quick fixes are available that will help get your car running smoothly again. Finally, make sure to always drive safely and under the recommended conditions in order to keep your car in good condition. By being proactive about it, you'll save time and money down the road. Thanks for watching.